Hi everyone! In this video I will tell you a story how we optimized our autotest runs with only one IDEA plugin. Let me introduce myself. My name is Gleb, I'm QA Automation Team Lead at Trike. I've been working here for 5 years and I'm responsible for educational programs and framework improvements. In my free time I like to play volleyball and video games. Here you can see my contacts. You can contact me if you have any questions. A few words about Trike and our technical environments for the context. Rike is a collaborative work management platform that helps teams and companies all over the world be more effective and productive. Rike is a very powerful product, that's why it has a lot of UI elements and logic that should be tested. And to be able to have several deploys per day, we have 27,000 Selenium tests and more than 10,000 API tests. Our full deploy regression takes up to 2 hours and our project with tests has more than 1.4 million of lines of Java code. And all this stuff mainly based on Java, Maven and Selenium technologies. To understand what problem did we have, let's take a look at our aftertest development lifecycle. First of all, we need to write the code. After that, we need to check that everything works correctly. Then we have a code review stage. And after that, we merge our code to the master. In this pipeline, we have one non-obvious step. How to understand that everything works correctly. And the answer is simple. Just run your tests. Indeed, if you added only new tests, you can run those tests only. If you changed a lot of code for some feature, you can run tests related to this feature. If you made some global refactoring, just run everything. But reality is often disappointing. Let me show you how giant our project is. From front and side, we have 7000 page elements that used in 16000 Selenium steps. From back and side, we have 900 API handlers that used in 2000 API steps. And finally, we have 35000 tests that used everything above. And dependencies between these layers looks like this. Tree of dependencies is very complex, and even if you have changed small method, there could be unexpected side effects. Let's take a look at the real example. You can see a method that creates task entity. Task is a very important entity at Rike, and this method has quite a lot of usages in a lot of features. And imagine that you need to change this method and make sure that you won't break anything. Let's go back to our tree. After changing some parts of our project, it's impossible manually find out what will be affected. Running all tests is very expensive and time consuming. So our big pain was to understand how to decrease amount of tests in our obligatory checks. And to solve this problem, we've created find affected tests idea plugin. The goal of this plugin is to get all IDs of tests that were affected by the changes in the code. We use IntelliJ IDEA as ADE and its functionality can be expanded by plugins that you can download or write yourself. Let's jump under the hood and see how this plugin works. IDEA plugins work with PSI, Program Structure Interface. It is the layer of IntelliJ platform and it's responsible for parsing files and creating the syntactic and semantic code modules. In our case, three PSI entities are important. PSI file is an object representation of a file with the code. PSI files consists of PSI elements, a representation of language element. It could be a class, a method, or even the close embrace of a small block of the code. And the last entity is PSI reference. It allows us to get usages of particular PSI element. And common algorithm can be described in three simple steps. First of all, we need to find all PSI elements that were changed in our Git branch. Then, find all usages of these changes in tests by PSI reference. And lastly, collect all affected IDs. Let's take a look what will plug and find for our origin example. This method with 1,500 usages affect more than 8,000 tests in tens of different modules. In such case, without this plugin, we would run all our tests because it's useless to try to find affected tests manually. 
but with the help of this plugin, we are able to run exact set of tests that should be enough to make sure that everything is fine. And a few numbers. In case without plugin, our basic regression takes about 90 minutes. But when we run only affected tests, it takes only 25 minutes. It's an incredible profit and we're really satisfied by this solution. Also, my colleague and the author of this plugin, Daniel Timashov, wrote an article on Medium web portal. If you are interested in this topic, I suggest you to check it out. There you can find a lot of technical details about this plugin and even its open source version. So, you will be able to solve similar problems based on it. Big thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you may write them down in the comments below. See you in our next meetups and videos. Bye-bye!